Hey guys, so um, I thought that it was like kind of a, vid a video was kind of overdue and um, so I wanted to do a 20 questions tag but this is a different one than I've done before in the past. Um, these are different questions and obviously I haven't read through all of them because that would kind of be cheating but I mean I kind of read through a little bit just so that I would not be doing the exact same video. So yeah and sorry about my hair it's just like completely natural I've done absolutely nothing to it today so it's a little bit crazy but it's okay I exactly remember who um did it so if you guys know just let me know because none of the questions on here are mine I didn't make any of them up so I don't own it or anything I don't want to get in trouble I don't know the rules or anything so yeah so let's just go ahead and get started Number one, what is your favorite soft drink? Well, I just had the Mountain Dew um, Supernova, and I got it because it was, like, pink, and it looked really cute. I'm really out of breath. So, yeah, I got that um, just because I thought it was really pretty, and it was pink, and I don't know, it was really pretty. So, I got it, and it's really, really good. So, that would probably be my favorite, but, like, my classic favorite would be root beer. Um, number two, what is your favorite food? Um, well, it's where I just went to dinner. Um... This is a restaurant, it's not only in my area, I know that because I've seen them, it's called Culver's, and I know it's not everywhere, but it is in more places than just where I live, and um, it's really good, it's like a burger place, but they call them like butter burgers, because I guess they put like butter on it, I don't know, and um, it's really, really good. Um, number three, what is your favorite restaurant? Um, hmm. I would say that my favorite restaurant is Spin Neapolitan Pizza. Um, I don't know exactly if that's everywhere. I just know it's where I live, so yeah. Number four, what is your favorite horror movie? Okay, you guys, I didn't even read this question. This is so fun. Okay, so you guys are going to think I'm a total dweeb, but um, the movie It, which you can find it, like, I've tried everywhere. It's not on anything. It might be on Netflix, actually. I haven't looked on Netflix, but it is the best horror movie ever. It's so old. It's from, like, the 60s, I think. But it is... Actually, it's not from the 60s. I don't know what it's from, but it's, like, this clown who's actually, like, a projection. But he also, like, is, like, a big spider. It is so good. And he can, like, turn into blood and stuff. It's really weird. But it's so good. And it's so, so, so cheesy. But that's, like, what makes it so good. You know? Like, those old movies that you were like, oh my gosh, that was so stupid. But at the same time, you're like, holy crap, that was so good. Like, Evil Dead. Evil Dead is another one. That is on Netflix. You guys have to watch that. Watch Evil Dead right now, okay? Like, stop the video, watch Evil Dead, and then come back. Okay? See, okay. wasn't it so good? I'm telling you, it is amazing. So, um, yeah, so hilarious and cheesy. Um, so yeah, number five, who is your favorite singer? Um, this is a pretty, like, obvious question if you know me. My favorite singer is Justin Bieber. He is an angel, and he's, like, amazing. I just am speechless thinking about him, and um, I'm just kidding. I'm not that big of a freak. I mean, I'm a big freak, but I'm not, like, I'm not creepy, you know? Um, but, yeah, I really, really like Justin Bieber. I went to his concert. It was so fun. And I cannot wait for his album to, his holiday album to come out. I'm, like, buying it the very first day it comes out, because, okay. Um, who is your favorite actor? Um... Jim Carrey and like my dad doesn't like Jim Carrey at all he thinks he's annoying but the funny thing is it's my dad is just like him like my dad is so goofy and embarrassing but amazing but yeah my dad is he reminds me of Jim Carrey a lot um who is your favorite actress hmm I can't really pick a favorite actress because there's lots of good ones, but then there's lots of, like, really stupid ones. And then there's lots of overrated ones. So I can't really pick one at all. Um, number eight, what is your favorite television show? Pretty Little Liars. Oh, I love that show so much. There are a lot of close seconds, like Make It or Break It and The Lying Game and, you know, all those kind of shows. But um, Pretty Little Liars is definitely my number one. Um, number nine, do you prefer one piece or two piece bathing suits? My entire life, I was never allowed to wear, um, 
two piece bathing suits just because it was a um like modesty issue in my family and it's just like a personal preference um we are like super duper strong um believers in Jesus and so um we just my mom never thought it was very appropriate um I don't maybe just because I was raised like that I don't really see a big problem like I'm not strutting around there acting like a you know what um so I mean I think it's okay to show off like what you were given by God um if you do it in a tasteful way like just this year I was 16 like I'm 17 now but over the summer I was 16 and I was just allowed to wear a bandeau t bathing suit so um yeah but I just I mean I always thought it was so over like my mom was being so over dramatic which I understand that she's like protecting me and stuff but um I don't know I just don't see the big deal if you're being tasteful and not being you know what I mean are you a fan of pro wrestling this is number 10 um I cannot say that I am nope um 11 have you ever gone skinny dipping no never and this is really funny because me and my friend both put this on our bucket list over the summer just like being stupid um yeah neither one of us checked that off our bucket list um, number 12, were you ever dared to do something extreme? Um, yeah, and I'm not really going to repeat what I was dared to do. Yeah, I was, but I'm not going to repeat it. Um, 13, what is your biggest thrill? Um, my biggest thrill is, well, was competing in gymnastics. That gives you the best rush. Competing in any sport, it's amazing. It gives you, like, this high that's, like... I don't know, it's so cool. I love competing. I'm a super competitive person to start out with, so. Um, number 14, do you have any hidden talents? Um, um, I don't know, I'm not a very talented person, I wouldn't say. Let me think about this, hold on. Ooh, I know one, but it's not really hidden. I'm a really good interior designer. I can design a room out of nothing like um, I redecorated my room you guys can't see it right now um, for under a hundred dollars and I mean all my friends like it I don't know it's not completely finished I still have to do the trimming on the wall and like I have some stuff over here um, by the windows that I have to do but I did like I got a lot of stuff my bedding I don't know if you guys can see it this is my bedding and it's like animal print and I got this for fifty dollars and it's like a, originally um, like 70 or 80 and you, if you just if you know where to go you can get really good stuff and um, oh hold on I'll show you my favorite thing that I so this is not like my favorite thing that I got for this room just because it so goes with the animal print this is like what the whole room was um, brought around and I got this actually at the Dollar General for three dollars and it's like this painting of a lion and it has like some zebra print and then right here it just it's not really any specific print and then right here it's like leopard so this is like what my whole room was centered around and it's like a small painting but I mean I just love it I think it's so cute and it was three dollars because I don't know if you guys can see right here there's like a little rip because it was originally like five or six and since there was that little rip it was three so yeah all my friends are like oh my gosh I need to go shopping with you they're like you are such a bargain shopper but I mean it's not really a bargain it's not really well I guess it is bargain shopping but like everything in this room I either got by refurbishing it and like turning it into something new or I got it for really really cheap so yeah that's I guess a hidden talent is to bargain decorate I guess number 15 what were you afraid of when you were a kid clowns because I saw the movie I saw well I didn't see it actually um one time my parents went out on a date night and um and like clowns sounds really like cliche but just listen to my story so my parents went out on a date night and I have 
four older brothers ahead of me, like older than me. And um, my second oldest, he was like, he's like my closest brother to me. He's not my favorite or anything. Like I don't have favorites. Um, I definitely love all my brothers equally, but we were just really close. I guess we were, we connected really well. I don't know. Um, but when he was putting me to sleep, like, um, cause he's a lot older than me. Um, and my parents were out. Uh, he, he was telling, he always used to tell me and my little sister, like, ghost stories or whatever, but, um, and I was probably, like, seven at this time, but I guess he decided to tell us a not, like, kid-friendly ghost story, and he told us the story of It, which is the movie I told you about, and, um, I hadn't seen it yet, obviously, because I just saw it, like, when I was, like, 10 or 11, um, but when I was, like, six or seven, he told me the story of it, and I got so scared, I couldn't sleep for weeks, and he, like, really, really scared me, like, really bad, like, it was horrible. Oh, and then another time, um, my other brother was in town, because, well, he wasn't in town, he was staying with us, because, um, he stayed with his mom, because, obviously, yeah, it's just, I mean, it's pretty normal, but he's my, he's my dad's son, and he, he always stayed with his mom, and he came over every other week or something like that on the weekends, and, um, now he's all grown and has kids and is married and stuff, but, um, and it was snowing, and it was, like, near Christmas, and him and my other four older brothers, so Reed, who is my half-brother, um, Carrie, who's the one who scared me with the It story, and then there's Adam, and then there's Sam, and, um, they all, like, decided to, like, scare me, Bailey, and Jack, who are my two younger siblings, and, um, so yeah, they were telling us ghost stories, like, pretty late at night, and we were all, like, huddled in the living room, and then Reed left, and he was like, oh, I'm just gonna, gonna go to the bathroom or something, and, um, how my, my bedroom, or my, um, living room is, is there's, like, two bay windows, like, um, kind of at the front, and we were huddled in a circle kind of near that, a couple feet away from there, and, um, when you look down, like, down from the bay window, you can see, like, the little garden, um, which isn't really a garden, it's just, like, grass, um, and then there's the yard in front of that, and so it was, like, snow, like, packed really, really high, and so, like, we were just continuing our stories, and then we heard, like, shake, like, kind of pounding on the window, but, like, lightly, and so Carrie was like, oh my gosh, you guys, let's go look, so we all, like, huddled around the bay windows, and we were all, like, really scared, and, um, because, yeah, we were telling ghost stories, and then all of a sudden, we, like, looked down, and there was, like, blood all over the snow, and then obviously it was just ketchup, but it was all over the snow, and then we see Reed laying there, like, laying there, and we also didn't know that Sam, the brother right um, ahead of me, had also went out, and so then we saw him, like, he was kind of a little under the bay window where we couldn't see him, but then he just went, and like put his hand on the window, and it was so scary, but anyways, that was just a rambling story, I just wanted to tell you about that, it was really fun. Um, so yeah, clowns, I was scared of. Number 16, do you sing in the shower? Um, sometimes, just if I know that someone's, like, near my bathroom, just to, like, be funny, but usually I don't, like, sing for real, unless I have a song stuck in my head. I guess I do. Hmm, maybe. So, there's this rap group, I don't know if they're a band, but they're called Lecrae, and it's, like, a Christian rap group, and, um... I was like downstairs where I live now and um, me and my brother Sam we share a bathroom because it's the only one down here so um, I was doing laundry which is right next to that bathroom and I just hear like rapping and he's actually a musician he um, plays like folk -y kind of music so like he doesn't really rap and so um, I just heard him like rapping Lecrae and it was really funny I don't remember the exact song he was like rapping to but it was really funny and he was just like I and mean, he's just like this white kid just like rapping I don't know it was really funny and he was in the shower so yeah okay number 17 have you ever gone tanning not in like a tanning salon I mean I've gone outside and gone tanning but no not not anything like that and I don't really plan to um we have my whole family has a history of skin cancer so I don't really plan on going tanning I don't think that's a good idea and even if your family doesn't have a, a history of skin cancer, I don't think it's a good idea. It's just not healthy. And spray tans just don't really look natural. 
in my opinion. Okay, number 18. Did you ever have a near-death experience? Um, I think I've talked about this. Yes, I have. When I was t 11 years old, um, I got really sick, and it was a misdiagnosed appendicitis that um, ruptured, and all the poisons and um, bile stuff that was inside of my appendix actually got all into my body, and just lots and lots of really bad things happened, and um, at one point, I was 5% chance um, of living. Um, during my surgery, yeah, and then the rest of the time I was in the hospital, it was about a 25% a chance of living, and eventually I obviously got better because I'm here, but I was in the hospital for three months total, so it was a pretty big ordeal. Um, number 19, did you ever fall asleep in the bathtub? No, but I have gone, I have gone so close. When I did gymnastics, I did, um, um, one summer... We did 25 hours a week, which is actually more than Sean Johnson did um, while she was training for the Olympics. Um, we learned that, and we all thought we were so cool, but at the same time, we were like, wow, we don't need this because Sean Johnson doesn't need it. But anyways, CI so yeah, was training 25 hours a week, um, five hours a day for five days a week, and it was really, really hard. It was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so it was really, really hard. Um, so yeah. I used to take baths. I, did, I forgot what I was going, but now I remember. I used to take baths every day afterwards just to kind of relax my body. I don't really like taking baths. I feel like I'm bathing in my own filth. I don't know if you guys think that. Do you guys think that? I feel like I'm bathing in my own filth. It grosses me out. But um, I used to take baths, and then I would go to the swimming pool afterwards because it was over the summer. And because um, I was pretty young, so I still wanted to go swimming like every day. So I used to take a bath and then go to the pool and then come home and shower and stuff like that. But... Yes, I almost fell asleep in the bath a few times, but I never did. Um, number 20, how long can you hold your breath underwater? Um, probably, like, I think my record is, like, 42 seconds, which was really bad because I got really lightheaded and, like, it was really bad. But, um, yeah. So, that was my 20 questions tag. I just thought I really needed to do a video on my vlog channel because I haven't done one in a really long time. So, yeah. I want some some suggestions for, like, um, videos for my vlog channel. If you guys just want to see vlogs, I mean, I could do that. Um, or, like, more tags or, like, game things. I don't know. I don't know what I can do on this vlog channel. I just don't know. So, um, I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys like this. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And, wait, let's think. Comment, uh, rate. That's where the rate thing is, right? Okay. So, comment, rate, and subscribe. Hey, I got it down, I hope. It's probably going to be backwards, but I don't care. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!